tell you something. One thing about being wealthy uh, that I have examined through people that are wealthy, I noticed that they're not big spenders, but they are efficient producers. They're not cheap, but the world, people that don't know no better will say, oh, you cheap. Well, the people that don't have financial literacy, that's what it is, it boils down to fall by financial literacy, that's what it comes down to. And I recommend and I highly recommend that everyone gets a financial education, uh, financial literacy. I didn't know this, but me being around it, like I tell you before, your network is your net worth. Said that a lot of times. A lot of people like to look rich but be broke. A lot of people that I know that are wealthy, not that they look broke or nothing like that, but they look good and they're not going over the top with things. And um, so I look at my young cats when I see them, all the nice chains and jewelry, all the, the name brand, which is good, just the high-end cars, which is good, but what are you doing? That money could go towards assets, not liability. That's, that's nothing but liability. That money's not gonna come back to you. That money is just going out the window. But my wealthy friends, they think in the future, they think ahead. They think, okay, if I buy this car, how can it bring me money? Well, they got a, a multi-unit that's maybe down in Florida somewhere or down Texas somewhere or down in Georgia somewhere that's bringing them in income. And what they do is they use that income to pay for their lifestyle. <laughs> it, 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 it literally irritates me when I see people just doing dumb stuff and spending money on the wrong stuff. When you could be bringing, spending money on stuff that can be bringing you money. Like I said before, be that efficient producer, not the person that's just spending money on stuff to look good and look like you're rich and look like you got it to show out. Be honest, be honest with you, people don't care what you got. They're going to talk about you regardless. They're going to hate on you regardless. So why try to impress those people that don't give a dang about you, that don't care? It's all about legacy, setting up for something for your children's children, or helping somebody. You know what I mean? You can't help nobody if you got money constantly going out. That's why a lot of y'all are paycheck to paycheck. That's why a lot of y'all or, or, or don't know what to do it's because you're trying to impress people that don't care about you. So, yeah, man, the important, it's very important, it's very important. And I pray that you took heed of what I'm saying because it'll help you. And right now, you can start today. You can literally start today by creating a habit of saving, creating a habit of investing, creating a habit of just knocking off all the unnecessary spending. Whether you're going out to eat too much, whether you're you're buying that Louis Vuitton purse that you really can't afford, that's it. It's a uh, what's, it's a rule. I, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say it word for word, but it's a rule. They say that if you can't buy it twice, you don't need it. And that's another rule. I think that for people that got money, they said if you can't buy it ten times, you don't need to buy that. You can look it up. I'm just paraphrasing of what I've learned. But uh, yeah, that's it. Be a good steward. Be a good steward. But at the end of the day, that's what the Bible talks about. Being a good steward. Being a great manager. So you can keep what you have, not lose what you have. Because a lot of people that I grew up with, a lot of people that I've known personally, I've seen them literally get things that they couldn't afford, but then they had to sell it because they really need it to pay for something that they really need. So don't, don't, don't allow yourself to get to that point where you spend money on something that you don't need, then you have to sell it so you can pay for things that you actually need. Doesn't make sense. This is Carrie Lampkin. This is Possessing the Land.